These black serpent knights have lost their intellect. But perhaps, in whatever remains of their minds, they are still protecting the people of Kanria. If you see these ruins as Kanria in the throes of disaster, and these hilly churls as the people crying for help, then suddenly, I can make sense of what I'm hearing. Their growls are less of a threat, and more of a warning. Then, what are they saying? Though it is barely discernible, I can just about make it out. They keep repeating a word from the old language of Kanria. Run. Even I have to admit, the fact their will is strong enough to survive 500 years of erosion. It is nothing short of a miracle, born from hopelessness. Oh, so Paimon had them all wrong. It doesn't matter. Even I took them for enemies for a moment. Let's keep heading toward the light at the top. I believe the Black Serpent Knights will no longer try to stop us. There's no door sealing this room off! Looks like we can finally head to the room in the center! Come on, let's go! <gasps> Look! Up there! A water pool! Even the water pool is upside down! Oh, wow! This is a pretty amazing place! Dang! Do you have any idea at all how it works? The pool must be part of the entire city structure. A relic of this ancient civilization. And more importantly, it is the very thing that is weakening the curse. Here, my whole body feels more at peace than it has in a long time. The effect is stronger here than it was before. And I think it's because that water pool has something akin to a cleansing effect. Cleansing? Water in that pool can wash away the curse for good? No. That would be impossible. How are you so sure? I have lived with this curse for 500 years, and I have been fully conscious the entire time. Suffice to say, no one understands the curse like I do. It is a way of branding us at the level of the fate of the world itself. When a god applies a curse, it takes effect at a higher level of reality than the person themselves. Even now, I can feel the curse slowly permeating my entire being, becoming part of me, slowly but surely replacing me. Perhaps it may be possible to suppress the corrosive effect of the curse for a time, but cleansing it entirely, consider it tantamount to burning away an integral part of your body. It is not a process that one could ever hope to survive. Huh? Cleansing the curse costs you your life? Whoa. An irreversible curse! Paimon can't even imagine! In any case, I can feel that the water's cleansing effect is not nearly potent enough. At most, it might suppress the curse, but a little. Frankly, I have never seen a device of this design before either. It is not unreasonable to suspect that it could belong to the Abyss Order. But what could they be planning to do here? Ah! Oh, that gave Paimon a fright! So, all the doors are open now? Halfdan, do you have something to say to me? He ran off! But he didn't disappear like last time. He's indicating that we should follow him. Are you coming? Go 
Oingland? Looks like Halfgan disappeared at the far end of this path. Perhaps whatever lies ahead is what he wants us to see. Let's keep going. It's a humble hilly churl camp. Oh, these hilly churls look like they're in pretty bad shape, too. Some of them look like they've already taken their final breath. Is this what Afton wanted to show us? Whether it is or not, everything here is worth investigating in detail. Inspect the area. Leave no stone unturned. Seems like these hilly churls have no... The hilly churls we meet in the wild are... Oh, we may not have a whole lot of happy memories dealing with hilly... usually store food, but they seem pretty much empty. Hmm. Even... There's even a bonfire here. Wait, but wasn't Dane saying that hilly churls get... Sp hmm. Maybe in the very, very end... flower get this far underground? Did someone bring it in memory of the deceased hilly churls? Hey, now that you mention it... It is the national flower of Kanria, the Intivat. It once bloomed all over the nation. It would only last two weeks before wilting. But if you were to pluck one and take it out of Kanria, the petals would stop growing and turn hard. Only when it finally returned to its home soil would the petal... So the Intivat is a symbol for a wanderer far from home, signifying the- <gasps> So for this flower to get here- Your Highness, so the proposal Finally has your blessing. In focusing single-mindedly on confronting the heavenly principles, we neglected our original- I should not have been so indecisive. The device is almost ready. We- What are the chances of succeeding? Theoretically speaking- Forget it. Even a 1% chance- it For too long have we dwelt in the abyss. Surely they would rather return to the natural cycle of life and death as soon as pop- They cannot be made to continue paying the pr- The order is most fortunate to be graced with your decision. Ether! You saw something, didn't you? Can you tell me what it was? Yeah, you zoned out for quite a while there. Huh. <laughs> well, people do say that twins have a special connection. It sounds as if they are attempting to make use of certain equipment to cleanse the curse. It could well be the device we saw earlier. And... You say he mentioned the revival of the homeland, correct? No surprise there. Stubborn as ever. It appears as if the Abyss Order plans to use this location to cleanse the Hilly Churls of their curse and restore them to the way they once were. Then, they will serve as the foundation for reviving the nation of Kanria. After all, there can be no nation without a people. <laughs> It is the height of foolishness. They have no chance of success, not even a 1% chance. I told you already that no one knows this curse better than I, having lived with it for 500 years. There is no redemption. There is no undoing the curse. Trying to remove it by force will achieve nothing but to inflict further suffering. So make sure you are clear in your mind. You have to tell yourself, they are no longer human. If you cling to false hope and allow yourself to become too emotionally invested, 
The only way is down. You will end up just like them, mired in hypocrisy. Save your strength for something worth saving. Oh? <laughs> but of course, I am merely someone you hired for a task, while he is your brother. It is only natural for you to side with him. But whatever decision you make cannot deter me from mine. My chosen path is to stop the Abyss. If we have reached an impasse, then perhaps this is where we should say... I see. It seems that the three questions I put to you on our first meeting were worthwhile. You have developed your own individual views on this world. Very well. Since you have volunteered your true thoughts on this matter, I shall not hide mine from you. Right now, I have a more immediate agenda than stopping the Abyss. That is to say, the Abyss's actions here directly dishonor the final wishes of Halfdan and my other compatriots. I cannot allow this to proceed. The Abyss may appear at any moment. Be on your guard at all times as we proceed. We can see the Upside Down City from here, too! Wait, watch out! Ah! What? What's going on? The mutation is continuing. Has the Abyss made its... Jane Smith, I see your incessant meddling continue. Regrettably, I was not in time to control your exit. Hm. I am surprised that you dare to face me. You ran... Our Highness's will must be done. All interferences this time. The curse... You are the only ones who... There is nothing else left of those hilly... Say what you wish. Then you will give your life just to delay the inevitable. How... There's no time to celebrate. The Abyss Order's device is activating, but there's still time to destroy it. <laughs>